And now, the man of the evening, please welcome Larry Walker. There are so many memorable moments that lead to a Hall of Famer's career. There's also a lot of memorable phone calls. There was one in particular that led Larry Walker to this night. When, when I got the phone call and Dick told me, it's just, you, you hang up the phone and go home, oh my God, no, nobody's gonna wear 33 again. It's just, uh, it's a, an incredible uh, gesture by them to, to throw my way. An incredible gesture for a man who somehow considers himself just average. That's kind of how I see myself. I'm just an average guy that can go go around and do crazy stuff and and sometimes I forget, you know, quote, who I am, you know, I, you know, you lose track of that every now and then, but I just try to be as real as I possibly can and, and no different than anybody else. But he's quite different. In fact, he's the man who leads this organization in batting average, on base percentage and slugging percentage. But he'd rather tell you about the stuff he accomplished with the rest of the clubhouse. And they are sharing this with the fans here at Coors Field. You don't come out here to, to gloat all over your personal numbers. You come here to throw champagne on your teammates and celebrate, you know, and, and with us doing that, the guy, people in the stands are doing the same thing, which is what they're paying their money to come here and watch. And the champagne corks are popping in the Rockies clubhouse. And Walker said he owes his entire Hall of Fame career to those fans. When they go visit it, I want them to realize that you know, that, that CR represents them as much as it represents me. And you know, they, they're the ones that come here and pay their money to come watch baseball. And, and they should feel very proud to see that thing hanging in the Hall of Fame. From Coors Field, Ariel Orsuto, Nine News.